they pay you a handsome salary that nobody can boast uh, of anywhere else. And then you have the complete paraphernalia of office. That is simply because so that you can use it to reach the majority of the people. He talked about security. Did you see the Chinese vehicles they brought? Most of them are broken down now. Those jack vehicles, they no pass. We have, there are no parts for those vehicles. What we know that security agents use in Edo uh, State and in Nigeria as we see locks. Even in the Northeast, where they are Boko Haram are shooting, they use e locks. The army uses e locks. The uh, police, use, if they don't use e locks, they use e no sin. But you left e no sin, you left e locks. Toyota, I went to buy Chinese vehicles. And those Chinese vehicles, some of them are. They broken. didn't buy Chinese vehicles. Those vehicles were brought on the for, 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 for campaign. <laughs> okay. For, to campaign for Buhari. And in, during the time of Buhari campaign, those vehicles were shot. Were shot in the government house. I don't know if you understand. They didn't bring it out for campaign. I don't know if you understand. Yes. When it now comes to his time, he now brought the vehicle out. That's the vehicle that they brought, they brought Wabai Zigan. Wabai Zigan I don't know if you understand. Yes. If you go to Abuja, you see the same vehicle. It's everywhere. Then the day of the election, we didn't see one of these vehicles. The day of campaign, we didn't see one of these vehicles. And it was brought. For Buhari, for campaign. Buhari campaign organization. So I don't know understand. Well, the, the length and breadth of it is that the hopelessness you see today in the face of the youth, SSA cannot cure it. Because you are, it's quarter to go. Those who have not done government jobs are the ones that will be shouting and putting on Facebook that you have SSA. Uh. Like he said, you will do biometrics. Can you wait three months before you get your first pay? They will gross your three months uh, salary and pay to you once. Once. And that is all. So it's a bribe. And anything that involves bribery is already illegal. Yeah. And the youth to reject it. 200,000 jobs would have been better. But since 200 Jaya jobs are paid now, we have all agreed. If the governor was sitting here, he will agree with us that 200,000 jobs is a mirage. So since it has paid, let us now agree that you are paid in the area of employment. SSA is a bribe. Okay, let me tell you. The SSA that they are giving here, do you know the, last, the lowest money they receive here? Maybe 100,000, 150, some are receiving 50,000. Yes. Calling them SSA. SSA to the government. In, in, the, in the north, SSA salary is 600, 700. In the south, let me mention like a, a Delta State. We know the salary of SSA. Uyo, Rivers. Rivers, we know the Uyo salary of SSA. <laughs> SSA money, if really you want to empower SSA, you want to. You want to pay the real money amount to be given to SSA. SSA money should not be less than seven something, seven hundred something. Of which I was SSA in this state. My friends, my colleagues, I see SSA in other states. In Lagos State, we know what SSA get. And those states is not the poorest states. No. If we, if we are the poorest state, this money billion billion, we are hearing billion, what billion, what billion, what billion. <laughs> billion could have not be coming out from a state if we don't have the resources. Okay, now, our young youth that died in sea, eh? some of them died in Libya. I don't know if you understand, yes. but way of success, I want to survive. I'm trying to migrate. And yeah, migrate. I want to survive. I want, I'm looking for a better life. A lot of them died, and a lot of them, when I see the, the, what our Nigerian youth are facing, they now brought money to bring them back home. Let that government and did that.
what we had in video was coronation. Like, like we now know, it's now public knowledge, monies went into certain hands and uh, they did a coronation, like what you do, do for a king. You wear a crown, say, now you be the candidate of the party. Is there a contested primaries against two other candidates? In other parties, small, small political parties, they can did primaries. But in what we had in the stadium was distribution of money and then uh, the coronation that followed. Now, the, 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 the flip side to that is that if you spend as much as 10 billion to get the ticket, how much will you spend to buy voters? So that's another. And secondly, the same PDP that we are clamoring, that we are saying that this man did not have a good result. It's PDP that makes us know that it does not this man result. was being packaged. He don't have a good result. <laughs> I don't know if you understand. This man was being packaged. He don't have a good result. Even my own secondary school result is more than his own. Yes. I don't know if you understand. What, what, is, what is your own second? <laughs> so that yeah. we can put it my secondary side. school, I have my math and English. I have my religion. Then I have my uh, a Greek. I have a Greek. That's five credits already. Right? Yes. yes. I don't know if you understand. <laughs> and my brother did not have... It, it's same math, math, no math and English. No math and English. English. I don't know if you understand. So my brother, <laughs> we were being deceived. We were Mugu. The same Mugu that PDP is falling now. Thank God that we have a credible candidate that have a name. If not, this man would have put pepper in PDP. I, because he cannot get there. So PDP will not understand. Yes. <laughs> you know, PDP will not understand. Because he cannot win again. Because... We have disappointed a lot, a lot of people. A lot of persons. I don't know if you understand. Yes. Market women will be sent to prison. Their market is set up. Our yes. youths were going yeah. to remand. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. At least I, two, I I two listen, that they, are, they, they frustrate our mothers in market. They will be sent to prison on environmental. And no environmental have been conducted in a good state. But could you believe on environmental day, they will bring their go out. Without sweeping, without cleaning. They'll be picking people that is moving, picking them to court, just to pay fine. Mm. I don't know if you understand. So a lot of our people are hungry. As I say, even though you share... Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. Ninety-three. Ninety-three. Is the yes. set up? Is the set up? Abazaki is giving us a say. When you have not passed biometry for three months, there's no way government can. It's, it's in the constitution. You must go so to now you look now. How long are you going to face biometry, and how long are you going to get your money when election is by the corner? So my brother, don't be deceived. Our our people, our uh, the PDP people, sorry, PDP, they were the people that we say Obaseki did not have results. Obaseki did not have results. They went to court. They I not, think that issue was in court. They, they went to, to court. court. The same PDP give Obaseki that they said they don't have results. They gave him ticket. That's why I look at them. People deceive people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are under the mango tree. And you can join this conversation anytime by calling. 0704-248-3959 or send your comments to Facebook slash Bloomshire. Your Bible, please. Let me come back again to you, Comrade Tony. Yeah. We were talking about the alleged money that was paid to move from APC to PDP. Yeah. If we had, if the governor had channeled some of this money, mm. let's even say back to APC members, would we still have the same result? Uh, well, uh, you know, after government, after the election, as government is being sworn in, there's no government that normally dissolves money with what I'm saying now. What they normally do, they put the money on the fast at that school.
house. No, the group. Oh, the group. That that says, okay, no, okay, no, I don't want to mention it so that I cannot make them relevant. <laughs> yes. Because there are some people you don't need to mention so their name. We have a caller. Let's see if we can add this one. Hello, this is under the mango tree. Who is calling and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. I'm John Asta Okay, you are John. Where are you calling from, sir? I'm calling from the Gambia. Calling from the Gambia. What is your yeah, contribution? I'm in a junior migrant to the Gambia. Okay, sir. What is your contribution from Gambia? I am also from a state. We know. Okay. What is your contribution to the show, sir? No, what you people are revealing in this program this afternoon is very shocking. Too shocking. Too, too shocking. So we have this kind of money in Edo State and our people are suffering. It's just unfortunate. Just unfortunate. Mine is not to ask questions. Mine is an observation and advice to Edo people that as another election of seconds, they should reject the man that is wasting money now. The man that does not have a certificate. No wonder he doesn't have a blueprint. He didn't come to with government. He come to government to have things he will do. They are not as documented, so we can't hold him to any agenda. I'm calling on those people to reject him at the September 19th election, so that those state can truly move forward. I'm not coming for anybody, else, but I think the best person should be voted for. The man that has come up with simple agenda, he has some reasons. He has agenda, he has points. I think that's why he's rule to be voted for in September 19th, 2020 election in those state. I like the program. God bless the Kabaka, God bless Zakari, and God bless Mohammed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. John. That was Mr. John calling from the Gambia. Yeah. He says that his advice is the Edo people should vote for the best candidate in the upcoming elections. You were talking about the, the relationship between the governor and APC members that led him to move to PDP. Yeah. The relationship with him. After they brought him, everybody, as far as it's Shomole that bring him on board, everybody have to embrace him because Shomole have done well. My brother, let's not hide it. If you are a good governor and there is development in your state, there is no how the, the palace, let me not use other language, the palace will be your support. The palace wants the good atmosphere in a those state. We feel we felt disappointment, disappointed with the way Amana and those states look like. And with what we are hearing, with the money that we are hearing that is being spent. I don't know if you understand. This money, can't we use it here? Why giving it to people? And you were complaining that people are saying, bring money, bring money. This no one that you are giving. Are you giving it to Kao? <laughs> or you are giving it to goats? <laughs> I don't know if you understand. It's using the word of deceive to deceive our people. And they don't understand. It's a very shameful thing. Well, just to add to what he said. In this 21st century, no politician will go and meet a governor or a president to say, give me money. Nobody will go and collect all cash. If you give them, they will take. Oh, I'm not saying politicians don't take money. They take. If you give politicians money, they will take. That is from your mind. From your mind. But to go and ask, most you know, most you know ask. Unless they be doing elections like this. How do you now empower the people that supported you? Don't forget, empowerment of party members is the same. Oh, whether you are in Nigeria, whether you are in UK, whether you are in US, go to America and go and tell uh, uh, President uh, Donald uh, Trump. Donald Trump not to empower. The Republicans. Just go there and tell him that uh, he's not supposed to empower the Republicans. He knows that he needs to empower his party men so that his party can continue to grow and retain the seat and empower the people in turn. How do you empower? By giving work to people. You those that are not up to the level of contract, you give them jobs.
construction, for example, this is an area that you are well aware. Yeah. Unfortunately, you lost your own hotel to some of the intrigues yeah. of politics. Yeah. How, How much, much has, has the governor done, done to encourage construction? Well, well uh, nothing. Well, I will tell you, look at uh, Governor Winke. Governor Winke destroyed somebody's house that is not up to 100 by 100. Winke, and the same person was PDP youth. But after a lot of pressure, don't you see what Winke did to that boy? He rebuilt his property and draw the boy closer and compensated him. Yeah. Hello, you are under the mango tree. What's your name and where are you calling from, please? Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Yakubu. Okay. I'm calling from uh, Iyuku. Yakubu from in, Iyuku. What's your Iyuku, comment? In Auchi. I, I My question is directed at uh, from Rituli Kabaka, Adu. Yes. I want him to explain to us briefly why the governor destroyed his property without uh, any court order. Okay. That's my question. Thank you, Yakubu. Comrade Tony, before you continue with um, the wiki example, Yakubu calling from out, he wants to know why the governor destroyed your property. Well, uh, without Without a court order. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that I call uh, the demolition of my hotel, I call it political with something. And it's obvious. You can go to the area I build my hotel. They mark more than whoever has this, if I'm not mistaken. It's my only property that will be destroyed. That one aside. Till now? Till now. It's my only property that will be destroyed. That one, on, that one aside. When we were in court, they couldn't prove that I built on government land. It's when we are in court, I now know that that, that land, that, that the school that were close to me, the land will be allocated by the community to local governments, Oredo, not even states. They do not have property there. Air center is there. My house that the government gave me C of O is back of the air center. As key accusation, my own house, my living house. Then, because all of them is in one line, then my house, my hotel was at the back of the school. Okay. We have school, we have a air center, we have skill, skill accusation. There's building, not only my house. A lot of houses are still there. I was the last person to build. I want to ask. People keep asking me this question. You think if I support this government with the way it treat our people, I was supporting, you think they would destroy my property? Of which, of course, no. Because I was not supporting him. That's why he went ahead and destroyed my property. It's a political mission to clear. Okay, I remember when we were in court. Justice and Dopai is our, our judge. I don't know if you understand. He asked the both party, hope everybody will respect the rule of law of this court, of which everybody say, yes, yeah, my lord. But the case were pending in the court. A day, a next day to judgment, a day to judgment, you went ahead and carried a bulldozer with a fake judgment. I don't know where God judgment from. Our case is still pending as we speak. He now got fake judgment and give to CP, the commissioner of police. They now give him, equip him with police. With uh, the uh, police, uh, what do you call it? Police uh, lawyer in state CID there. I remember vividly. One man that is called a police lawyer, his name is Ogumba. As since then that they have guilty judgment, they now give them police. They demolish my hotel. And when the case is still pending, in the court, as we speak, we are seeing the court. 
So that case is still in court. We are in the court for God's sake. And judgment has not been given mm -hmm. at all. See, today? Yeah. Before my demolition of my hotel, I did not know if the government would be on the government favor like or your own side or my own favor. We were waiting for the court to decide. That's rule of law. I don't know if you That's understand. That's rule of law. But somebody that is taking people to court disobeyed the court by when going ahead on behalf of the court to demolish somebody's property. And you still go to court and file paper against somebody. You want court to obey you and honor you. I don't know if you understand. You, you don't respect the rule of law. And you have a problem. You want the rule of law to come and help you. Come on, sustain you. I don't know if you understand. So if you look at it, government is by example. As a government, you need to show as a good, responsible person, as a governor. But you fail to do that by going, by going on behalf of the court to demolish my property. Could you believe what pains me so much? At times, some of my friends will call me. These are people that normally lodge in my hotel. They'll say, Pa, I'm in town. This COVID 19 were only missing, but I find my way. I'm in Benin now. Where are you? He said, I'm in so so hotel. Okay, I'm driving. I'll come and see you. Would you believe if I'm sitting down, just staying with my friend in other person's hotel, I feel bad. I say, Wow. I have something like this before. They have been demolished by somebody that is stronger than me. I don't know if you understand. I swear to God, a man don't cry because we've seen a lot of things in life. The same head that did it, as far as I lie, can still do. That's why I didn't think about it. Not that I don't know it. But it's not something that you, if I take it so much, to weigh you down. Yeah, to, to weigh, weigh me down. Weigh to down. weigh you down. Then for it to weigh me down, and I'll be, I now go back to my talent. Started singing. If you look at all the albums that will be dropping little, little, it makes sense to all his behavior. When I told the world that our money, a uh, dosage money, our money, you, or God, they share around, nyaga, nyaga. <laughs> you don't, they chop around, nyafu, nyafu. People were. People don't see we, it now. We, we have seen it now. Good. We have seen it now. Okay, when I also came out, when I sang the song, Under the Mango Tree. Yeah. We are under the mango tree. <laughs> Today, we have a slogan called Under the Mango Tree. <laughs> yes. Even his follower, we are even singing Under the Mango Tree. When they hear, when they hear, when they heard that uh, Ochomole was being removed in office, they were now singing Under the Mango Tree. They said, they didn't even sing it the way I sang it. Why I sang that music is because Aslan was under the mango tree. They didn't allow him to go to the next meeting. Mm -hmm. And I sang a song. Under the mango tree, under the mango tree, Aslan taking selfie. Under the mango tree. <laughs> and really, it come, apart. It come to pass. <laughs> Aslan is the... Uh, is, is the is author. The, is, the, is the retired... The, 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 uh, APC chairman. APC of chairman. Yes. State chairman. Then I sang State another chairman. one that no, we can't, we can't take it. this no more. Do you know why we sang that? Because we see that the money that you are crying, that they say you should come and share. You are not the one sharing money. This is billions. Millions. You were sharing it. Then I now sang again. Because they were saying, this government, I earn it, I deserve, I it. deserve it, it's not negotiable. It's not negotiable. <laughs> now, after I drop it, and I say, my follower, and I say, never again, never again. Because really, never again. He was thinking nothing will happen. That's why I use that slogan. The government talks, say, hey, boy, they. The government thinks, say, hey, boy, they. Hey boy, they means nothing they saw, nothing, they, nothing saw. they happened. <laughs> I don't know if you understand. <laughs> so if you look at all, all the things I've been dropping, you, are, you, have, you have turned it to lyrics. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> yeah. Hello, you are under the mango tree. Who is calling and where are you calling from? Uh, good afternoon. My name is Solomon. Good afternoon, Solomon. Where you they call from? I call from Aduawa. Aduawa. Where do uh, you want to follow comrade talk for this show? Uh, I've been looking at me ask Kabaka. Now, because uh, 
governor the say for party na make am dey against her i been make you explain so that we will know okay, okay. thank you solomon from retoni yeah solomon calling from aduawa wants to know if the reason you are against governor obaseki is because he destroyed your property what's your answer to my you? answer to it is clear i was already crying for youth empowerment going on social media crying that our politicians don't need to be neglected before my property was involved it was as a result of yeah. that advocacy. It, it was as a result of yes, the way that is why i was I was, I was not the one coming out Engaging all the time. The government. So you, you feel you are strong. That was why he now feel he want to punch so me. So this was punishment for your... But because I was crying for crying my... for people. For my party faithful. Yes. I said, sir, this part, if you go back to my video, I said, sir, I want to plead with you. These politicians, they've tried. They did their best to make sure we succeed. We need them. Election is at hand. They will come tomorrow. We will need them. Please, I'm begging my excellency to please engage this politician. Keep them busy. That way, we have my problem started with him. My property is just yesterday now. I don't know if people have been following up. My property is just yesterday. Because I failed to dance to his tune. Because nothing good is coming up. Look at my road, Ugbo Amagba Road. Ugbo Amagba Road, two vehicles cannot drive along that road. And one must stop for on one. Record. It's on the record now that they've already constructed I it. don't know if you understand. Yes. Now record. it's on the record that they've constructed it. Look at that road. As we talk now, it's like what's and where. What any, are, any what is them Any serious I'm, government that comes No, no, listen now. Go to the gutter. <laughs> the gutter will be filled up because the gutter is too tiny. It's very small. I remember when Oshomola is doing his own construction, he will jump inside the gutter. You won't even see Oshomola's head. <laughs> Deeper as that gutter. I don't know if you understand. If really the adult youth, they want to be sincere and let's come out with the fact. Today can be today. Tomorrow can be tomorrow. Don't say because you are with the government that what is bad is good. And good. Tomorrow, when the government leaves, you will see that what you were saying, you will be the one suffering it. True. I don't know if you understand. Okay, now, show me a substandard uh, uh, road rehabilitation that this government, present administration have done. No. Nothing. No. Look at Oshomole. He make us know what is walkway. And speak like He make us know that much, much problem can be cured. Because those moats were being blocked. If you are doing road and the moat is blocked, it was really swollen, it, it will, will wipe it away. It, yes. And people's half will be involved. That was why Oshomo led concentrate on the moat around mm -hmm. the Benin. So then now they stop. At least if I'm a governor, I'm doing well. You say you are coming, you want to start from where I stop. At least you should do more better than you me. Do, now. You should improve on what you have already made. Okay, now what is he going to show us that this is a stop? Okay, in, road, in Ring Road, close to Obapala, run about. People do go there every Sunday and take picture, snap, do their marriage, whatever. Look at that place now. The water fountain is there. Yes. The lights, they cannot put it on because it was not done by him. Anything that is not done by him that is showing attraction to the people. He want that name to wipe away. Look at the school, new era, that Oshomole built. The place was locked up. He don't want to open it. Because, okay, look at the hospital. Central. That he went, oh, Central Hospital. That him, the present governor, went with the president, Buhari, and the comrade down to go and open. Commission. Commission. After Oshomole left, the place has been sealed up. Look at Stella Obasanjo. Governor has passed 33 years. He went to smell out about and he said, wow. So we have this kind of thing. This place is like this. How can you imagine? You're a governor. A big hospital like that. You don't even know it. You exists. don't even know. Man, <laughs> we're, we're, uh, hello, hello. We are in the hands. We are in the hands of a frost star. Mm. Quote me. We are in the hands of a frost star. Because it's open now. It's obvious to everywhere. Let me quickly take this call. Yeah.
Hello, you are under the mandatory. Who is calling and where yeah. are you calling from? Hello, good afternoon, sir. My name is Chukwemeka. Good afternoon, Chukwemeka. I'm, where from Mission, I'm calling from Mission Road. Chukwemeka from Mission yeah. Road. What is your contribution to our show? Yes, sir. Uh, I've been following your program for some time now. I am an Igbo man based in Benin. I am a bus driver. Okay. So, I've been following other past governments, right from Oshomole government. I've been seeing the kind of levy they charge us on daily basis as drivers. The levy they charge on daily basis? Yes, as drivers, the tickets we pay as drivers, bus oh. drivers. Okay. Is it now or then? Ask him uh, where. But since this government came on board, we have been paying okay. higher. We pay more than 800 naira every day. What you are saying About is that you were, your ticket what? has gone up. Yes, it has gone up. Okay. It was not the same amount we are paying before. We were paying around 500 naira or so during the You were paying 500, 500 naira. naira before, and how much are you paying yes. now? Now, now we are paying 800 and okay, 800 something naira on okay. daily basis. Okay. And the government said they have eliminated Aburu. And still, Aburu is still stopping us every day okay. on the road. We are still having the same problem. Aburu is, is even worse now. Okay. They are disturbing us every day. So what I'm trying to do off, most especially those who off people, they will impound your boss, they will take you to somewhere and extort money from you. Yes. We don't have anybody to complain to. Okay. Nobody will give us anything yes. Please, what I'm trying to know is that is, is are we sure of having a better government apart from this Obasiki government? But all of us are tired of this government. I and my colleagues, many of us are tired, but the problem is Fear of intimidation. Who are we going to talk to? Mm. That is just the problem. People should care us whether we have a better person that can help us as a governor in this state. Thank you. Thank you, Chukwe Meka. Comrade um, Tony, yeah. Chukwe Meka is calling from Mission Street. He says I he's a bus well. Yes. He says he's a bus driver. Yeah. And his problem is that currently they are paying over 800 naira for tickets. Yeah. Previously, it used to be about 500, 500 naira. naira. Yeah, that's true. But the problem is that they don't know who they can complain to. Yeah. Because Puov apparently is victimizing them. Yeah. He said and they, they asking, remove Agbero. But he said they, Puov yes, now. He said they have removed Agbero. Agbero. But it seems as if Puov has replaced the, the Agbero. The new Agbero And now. the problem he's, at, he's asking, is there anybody that is going to come? that will save them from this situation because they are even afraid of complaining because they don't want to be victimized More or less, yeah. uh you see i don't want to before i don't want to come to editing agbero but we cannot run away from it do you know why people normally call us agbero but god so i thank god for my life my children is well educated my children started Montessori from Ignatian to university before they left this country. I don't know if you understand. So if an Agberu can train a child um, to, to, be, to become standard, standard a, 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 to become presentable, at least it's, it's a hand of applause for Agberu. So normally, I don't like that name Agberu. I think I, I appreciate it. Because why? If you call me Agberu, if you're a politician, you're also Agberu. <laughs> because a gentleman don't play politics. <laughs> I don't know if you understand. Let me go to this man's question. Yeah, this man emphasized just now that uh, the money they are paying now and the money they are paying before. My brother, when this governor will come in, when I know that this man don't want a drop on the floor, when he was coming on board, he said they will be using POS to be collecting money from driver. I was very happy. I said, ah, POS. At least once you collect, you can get your percentage. Could you believe? Have you you have been moving there though? Where have you seen driver swiping POS in park? <laughs> I've not seen. It's the same <laughs> some of our loyalists that were with us and some group. They met all together. They are the same people doing this work. I don't know if you understand. Now, you people were saying you don't want Agberu, you don't want Agberu. When they want to clearing route, you call Agberu. Tony Kabaka to come and clear it. I clear the ring road. You, you now park all the verses to Muslim school. You said the Central Park. My brother, go there and see the mess. 
I don't know if you understand. Now, that not we stand it. You said Agbe are collecting money. Today, the money the, it, it has been increased. People are complaining. If you talk out, they will beat you. That man said it just now. Yes. Really, they will drive you. They will frustrate you. You won't work. Is that kind of government we want to operate? Was that way we operating like that? Then I will tell you one thing again. I will make reference to three things of modern. You see those people that normally swear affidavit in high court, in court pressing. I was there yesterday. I went to do affidavit. Those people who normally, <laughs> if you are driving, they'll say, they'll be stopping you. If you want to swear affidavit or you want to tie, so that they can assist you, they will get little things, maybe 100 naira, 50 naira. Do you know the governor were driving along the supply road? He met these same people. Who are these people standing on the road, whispering? What are they doing? Somebody inside the car and told him, these people, they are the ones who uh, are, they are in charge of affidavit. Afidavi. So, wow, do you know Lagos make a lot of money in affidavit? <laughs> the next day, <laughs> the governor now gave them account number. If you want to sue affidavit now, you the money to... that charge and pay, Used to take care of himself, transport, <laughs> and all those lawyers. They took that money now to government <laughs> treasury. 200 naira. You go to the, go to uh, 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 court now if you want to have a baby. You go to bank and pay. And you. Okay, good. That notwithstanding, what of those people that we are benefiting with this affidavit as a transport? You know? Taking some, care of their family. Yeah. I don't know if you understand. Yes. What did you organize for them? Well, now this is like this. The government is not taking this money. You people that were doing this thing before, this is how we have been going to be taking care of you. I want to tell you, in a civilized country, before government can dislodge more than 2,000 or 4,000 youth or men, there must be a arrangement for them. Yes. Because An they don't want, yeah, alternative for them. This man came on board. He dislodged everybody because he wanted the money directly to Treasury. Do you know what he tell Enigye? I will not stop to be saying this. He told Enigye after we, it was sworn in. He called out the Enigye. He said, come. And uh, Enigye came, some Enigye came to see him in the, in the uh, uh, government house. He said, come. Any Enigye that is coming here to come and see the governor must go to palace and take approval from the palace before you can come to government hall. Wow, Enigye we were so surprised. That is why when you see Allah Odao, you didn't see Enigye's there. They didn't go. They didn't go. Just the, for clarity, who are the Enigye's? Enigye, that is our, our, our king in various communities. No, okay. They are not king, oh, uh, uh, dukes. Le, 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 equivalent yeah. of a duke. Yeah, let me We only have one king. Yeah, yeah, yeah we have... King. We have one king. Yes. Sorry to use that word. Uh -huh. our, our duke. Duke. From yes. various... Uh, so they are like... Equivalent a, of the British The duke. heads so of... Uh, dukedoms. Yeah. Little fiefdoms. Uh, yes. Yeah, Fifth like the Yoruba have their own. Little yes. uh, yeah. clans. Everybody have their domain. Yes. All of them are subject to... The, the Oba. Oba. To the Oba. Oba is the supreme. Yeah. You understand? They didn't want to allow that. They were... Uh, even as we speak, the Nigerians are angry. Could you believe this time of election... Eh? A Nigye, they will call them, they will take care of them because they are people that they are controlling. They normally change their cars because a Nigye, they have a lot of contribution to the society. They are traditional. They are relax. controlling oh. their domain. I don't know if you understand. They are also spending their own resources. How much is it in a salary to a Nigye? Now, a Nigye, it disgraces all our Nigye and it disgraces all the old hair. Oh, eh, we, we, after Enige, we have one. Eh, that is our, our chief priest. We chief call priest. them chief priest. All the chief priests that normally consult uh, the, the children, that normally serve the children that in their domain. Because we have tradition in those state. All oh, eh, that's all chief priests have their children that they serve for the palace. You understand me? During the time of the past government, let me start with... Uh, uh, brutally. Let me quickly. Hello, to them along. Hello, you are under the mango tree. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. What's your name my, and where are you calling from? My name is Idris. Idris, where and are you I, calling from? 
I am calling from Aliele. Okay, Aliele. Idris, what is your contribution today? I, I want to ask uh, uh, this, uh, this question. And the question is directed at uh, uh, Kome Kabaka. Kome Kabaka. Uh, uh, Mr. Kabaka, are you saying that the governor has underperformed? And if the answer is yes, in which or in what specific area has the governor underperformed? Okay, okay, good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Idris. That's, that's, a, that's a good question. That's a good that's one. A that's a very interesting question. Yeah, good one. So, Comrade Tony, yeah. Idris calling from IULA wants to know, are you saying that the governor has underperformed? Yes. And if your answer is yes, yeah. which area? in which pe specific areas has he underperformed? Underperformed in education sector is underperformed. In road rehabilitation is underperformed. In uh, in uh, assisting our people in business in markets is underperformed. In security mm. is underperformed. Most especially the security is underperformed. Then when you talk about uh, 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 hundred uh, two hundred thousand jobs, two hundred thousand jobs Gale -Gale that, is, that he uses smart is underperformed. If you look at Gele Gele. It's on the platform. If you look at a Greek, when the government came on board, he was shouting, Family, 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 family. Uh, we are going to go to China and bring tractors. We are going to bring base uh, to, to grow your. Could you believe, after the money came on board, they, pack, they pocket the money. I'm not hearing about family. I was even thinking that this governor said he's going to China, he's going to bring a lot of uh, tractors and the rest. I was telling our people, I said this governor is going to check a class for everybody to go that, back to family. family. And we were very happy because there's money in family. There's money in Agri now. Agri is the future. I will tell you today, but <laughs> I have not tell you. I want to tell you about family. I will be called, I will mention it, by Osarodion Ogie, that I should come and see the governor in government house. The governor said they will give me ETA, they want to introduce me and my boys, they want to engage us his family, they want to... ...divert our habitant to family. I was very happy. How many attacks are you giving us? They now say they are giving us 100 attacks. Because of the quantity of... The number of persons. That I have. That you have. They now say they are giving us 100 attacks. And after giving us the attack, what are we going to plan? Say we are going to give you... Uh, what we are going to plan? Seedling. Seedling. Seedling and... Uh, fertilizer. Seedling and a fer yeah, fertilizer. He said they will teach us how to do it. <laughs> they will teach us how to operate the tractor. I was very happy. <laughs> I said this is a big level. Let go and start from there. I don't know this man. We are saying it because he's expecting money from federal government over a Greek CBN loan. Yeah, I don't know Anko, if you understand. But yes. I see that money come here about a Greek again. No, nobody talk about it. There was Sobe. Just to add to what he said, there was Sobe. Mm. Sobe farms. I think six hundred million they plan for it. They said we will no longer buy corn. Mm. From any other place again, mm -hmm. that Tobe so will take care of the corn needs of Nigeria. Mm. See today, Tobe so has uh, vanished from the national but, map. Okay, oh, comrade, comrade Idris, <laughs> let us as we are rounding up now. We are talking about somebody has been questioning about inside. Yes, you, you I will have... come back to you. You will answer that question, but I want him to give us his own final thoughts on on some of these issues that we've discussed. Well, uh, conclusively, because we have other engagement somewhere, I think that. In this next election, we must right, we must right our wrong. We must correct our mistake. Comrade Tony Kabaka seated over there, myself and most other persons watching us now supported this governor in our various capacities. The same people you have called they have explained to you how they do their agro work now. What is the difference between the man who is helping government to generate revenue and the man who is helping government to spend revenue? 
The one that you now collect and put inside the bank, is it angels that are collecting? Do you know that there is a contractor for revenue in this state? Even the POS they are talking about, do you know there are contractors for them and they get paid from Lagos? You have taken it from our people and you have given it to... Ejuro. That's my son's name. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he has given it to Ejuro. <laughs> No, me talk about. No, me talk about. So we are taking and giving it to people. Mm. So while on the final analysis, we must. The governor, you know by now that he has failed in what he was elected to do. We are not saying come and share hundred thousand. We are saying what have you done? If they say okay, your your tenure in Edo State today has ended now. Where will you point to and show to your children that when I was governor of Edo State, now me built that thing when we this Oh. Those are the issues. So the government should do a sober reflection. If I were in his shoes, he should give up on this election. Whether he gives up or not, in the Supreme Court, they will soon let him know that he can't take nomination from two sides. Hello, I swear to God, I'm a grassroots politician. A grassroots politician. Yeah, well, this uh -huh. is not <laughs> uh, Is there a moment we are standing alone? That was past government election. 2016 election. Yes. Could you believe we find it so very, very difficult? It was a dicey. Even with the abracatabra. <laughs> I don't know if you understand. Now, is I am standing with the people. My brother, I won't lie to you. When this man was declaring to PDP, do you see a lot of people that I don't want to mention it? If I mention it now, then we're going to be working on them because they have money. They're going to be sharing money there. Do you see Obesa there? No. Do you see Akere and Odion there? No. Okay. Odion Do you Anadeo. see Oroide there? No. Do you see uh, the senator from uh, Islam? Clifford Odia. Do you see him there? He was not. You, uh, Do you see Obede Yama that is, is with him now? Do you he, see him there? He was squeezing his face. My brother, let's not, let not deceive ourselves. Even the PDP knows. It's just unfortunately that it's not a good candidate. If it's a good candidate, I could have said what we see in APC that this man did to us. You people will experience more than that. It's unfortunate that it will never emerge. It, it's unfortunate that a frog, you know, frog toad. Yes. You know that it's only one water that is existing. That is cold water. It normally jump on cold water. A frog, a toad, did not know that There's hot, hot water. water is existing. <laughs> even when it when it jumped inside the hot water, he wouldn't know. He didn't even nobody to explain to the red toad that, that, that there is hot Yeah, he <laughs> just passed it there. So they are all ignorant. <laughs> I don't know if you understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, comrade, comrade Kabaka, yeah. your final thoughts on all of these things that we have discussed today. Yeah. What is your advice to Edo people, the youth? And your followers as we come to this uh, Edo election and as we close up on this program today. Uh, my advice. Yes. And first of all, let me thank God for making most of our youth, most, to know that this government is very tricky. The people that I see that is supporting this government are the people there in abroad. And most of them don't have voters card. They don't have voters card. And a social media campaign. I can remember vividly when Jonathan were campaigning, he was having the more power in social media. He won on social media.